Hey, one click upsell members, Ezra here from Zipify, and I've got a huge announcement. We have been working on this for a very long time, and we finally have the ability for you to have not only Stripe or Braintree connected to one click upsell to accept credit card payments, but you can have PayPal Express Checkout, which means inside of one click upsell, you can connect your credit card payment gateway and you can connect PayPal and a user could choose either one and still see the upsell offer. So here you are inside of one click upsell. You'll notice on the payment processor tab here, um, you get to click PayPal Express Checkout. That's under the payment processor tab. And then um, you'll notice that we've got this really important note that you need to have reference transactions enabled. I'm actually going to show you a couple things, show you some examples uh, of the upsell sequence that we're using, but you need to enable reference transactions, which we've got a, a little uh, tutorial for you on how to do. Then you just click save. And once you do that, inside of your one-click upsell, you can have your e-commerce store set up uh, with your upsell offers going on. And then when they get to checkout, they're here inside of the one-click upsell secure checkout, they can check out with PayPal and still see the one-click upsell offer pages. Now, we recently turned this back on on our store. We had it turned off for a while. Look at these results. We're up 21% in order value from, 72, uh, from $59 to $72. Our conversion rate went down over this three-week period by, you know, 0.16% or something. Now, we drive Facebook ads traffic, so conversion rate varies a little bit uh, from day to day. So sometimes the conversion rate will drop a little bit or raise a little bit depending on day of Week. But look at this. Revenue was up by 27% because of the upsell sequence. Now, we're not doing anything particularly special. The way that this upsell tag works that we've got on this store is literally we have the same upsell tag for every single product on the store. We haven't done anything fancy because we've been busy with other things. And so you'll see here that the way that we do it is first after they purchase, we offer them 28% off of our honey mask with our proven one click upsell offer page template with literally just the sales video uh, for that uh, product and a significant discount on it. They can say no thanks or they could choose their product and say yes. If they say yes to that, we then offer them a second product at a bigger discount. And if they say no to that, we offer them a second product or a downsell at a bigger discount as well. We're also having a thank you page offer and it's working really, really well for us. Now, one click upsell at this point is um, really, we're doing well, right? We're, we're, we're processing about 5,000 orders a day across 967 active Shopify store. So we're actually about to raise the price on one click upsell once we reach that thousand active member mark. But I'm going to give you some order data over the last 12 months, over 2000 total stores that have used one click upsell. Some people have turned it off waiting for the recharge integration, which I'm about to tell you about in a moment, but check this data out. Okay. So in the last 12 months, we have processed 845,786 orders for 34,395,463 and nine cents in revenue across 2000 stores and the best price point for an upsell, rather the average price point across all those orders, those 845,000 orders was $21 and 85 cents. Now, one thing to remember with regard to your upsells is that when I'm offering an upsell on an offer page, I always make sure to give at least a 25% discount on that post-purchase one-click upsell page. Obviously, the price point that the user came in at is what will dictate what you can offer an upsell at. So if they came in at a $60 order, you could offer, let's say, between a $40 and an $80 upsell. So that initial front-end price point will dictate the offer sequence. Now, the average conversion rate for the post-purchase one-click upsells across these 2,000 stores is 13%, which means... 13 out of every 100 people are going to uh, take you up on that purchase. And it's just a, an immediate increase in average order value for your store. Even if you're not doing it particularly smart, as we showed you with Be Friendly, we're not doing it particularly that smart. So obviously the bigger discount that you offer on the post-purchase one-click upsell page, the better the results are going to be. If you're getting under a 10% conversion rate on that upsell offer page, you're doing something wrong. I've got people on the application getting as high as 50% of people who see the upsell offer page saying yes to that upsell. We at this point are testing right now doing bundle offers. They work really, really well. So we'll let you know once we have more data on how our bundles are doing in general, it's like, you know, sell people more of what they just bought. Now, one thing that I did want to point out is that we have just finished an integration between one-click upsell 
and recharge. So now if you're using recurring subscriptions here uh, on this uh, offer page, you can now also offer post-purchase one-click upsells on that recurring subscription product. Now, um, we've got a whole webinar that we did with Recharge that takes you through how to implement uh, subscriptions and one-click upsells. And also, you'll notice that our help section has changed here. If you look at our help section here, you can see that it's a little more, uh, I mean, it was always a great help section, but now it's a little easier to use. And the, the second video in the help section and standard operating procedure are how to implement PayPal Express checkout right now. The folks who are using both credit card and PayPal Express checkout are getting a higher take rate on their offers. So uh, what you wanna do is go ahead, go through, it's video number two in the help section, implement PayPal Express checkout into your store. If you're not currently using it, make sure you've enabled reference transactions in your PayPal account. We explain it all in the documentation, but I wanted to announce that because we've worked so hard uh, to get that into the app. And, you know, we're, we're trying to make this thing better all the time. So if you've got suggestions, if there's things that you want us to do, our, our um, development roadmap for one click upsell is extremely robust. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming, uh, but this is a big announcement for us. PayPal Express checkout. It's in the application. You can now use it in addition to Stripe or Braintree, depending on what, um, uh, you know, credit card uh, processor that you're using. So as we're here from Zipify, just wanted to announce that we now have PayPal integrated to one-click upsell. Thanks for watching. I look forward to continuing to improve this product and continuing to help you grow your business. Thank you so much.